Making your home sparkle can sometimes seem like an impossible task. Cleaning supplies can also be costly. But with some of these secret cleaning tips from the pros, your house will both look and smell fresh using just a few simple items you might already have. Welcome to Jensen's DIY. Here are 26 pro cleaning tips for smart people. 1. It's frustrating when people in your household, or sometimes even guests, don't bother using coasters and leave coffee rings on your table. First, moisten a cloth or rag with some mineral spirits. Two solvents that can remove these rings without ruining the finish of your table are mineral spirits and denatured alcohol. If the first trick still doesn't work, rub the stain with the cloth dipped in the solvent. You need to be patient as it may take a few minutes for the wax to soften. If it leaves the surface looking dull, clean it again, this time using mineral spirits and apply some wax coating on top. Two. If soap is left for a long time on your bathroom tiles, they harden up and become difficult to remove. Unfortunately, no amount of rubbing can get rid of it. Wait for the surface to dry, then scrape the scum off with a plastic putty knife. It's easier to control due to the small size of the knife. If there are hard lines and areas with solid patches of scum, you can use the magic eraser from Mr. Clean. Doing this may take a while, so if you want to avoid this buildup on your bathroom tiles, you can replace your real soap with synthetic ones. 3. To completely keep scum away from your shower doors, try using this trick. It will ensure that your door doesn't end up with streaks or scum buildup. Clean any mold or streaks from the surfaces of the glass. You can use a cloth and glass cleaner to remove them. Then. Use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to reach deeper into the cracks of the textured glass. Finally, scrape off any remaining scum with a razor blade. After you dry the entire surface with a clean cloth, your shower door should be scum-proof. As stated above, to prevent the buildup of scum, try using synthetic soap. 4. We often overlook how dirty the trash bin becomes over time, which can cause a buildup of nasty dirt that is difficult to remove. Throw out the trash bag from inside the bin and bring it into an area where you can wash it off. Use a liquid toilet bowl cleaner. Wash the inside of the dirty bin and scrub it off with a bathroom brush. The toilet cleaner will make the dirt clinging to the sides of the bin easier to clean. Reach deep down inside to remove any stuck dirt. Rinse it off properly and you will have a bin that is as good as new. 5. When cleaning the bathroom, it's almost inevitable that you will encounter wet hair strands and dust balls that start to build up on your cleaning rag. To avoid this, vacuum before starting your bathroom cleaning routine. Start at the top spaces, vacuuming dust from the bathroom fixtures, including cabinets and windows. Continue to vacuum down until you reach the floor. Try to cover every inch and be sure to reach into corners where any hairs may be stuck. Use the crevice tool of the vacuum to pick up dust balls and stray hair. Clean the floor as you would with your bathroom cleaner. 6. Drippy trees leave sap on your vinyl siding. It's important to clean it up as soon as you can to prevent it becoming more difficult to remove. A regular kitchen cleaner should usually do the trick. Use Formula 409 or similar cleaners to remove the goo. If the sap doesn't dissolve with a standard cleaner, try using a citrus cleaner but first check it's suitable for vinyl surfaces. You can test it on hidden spots on the vinyl first to see if it causes discoloration. Apply the cleaner using a clean cloth or soft sponge and scrub your way through the spots using a brush. 7. When cleaning fixtures high up on the ceiling, you can use a duster to make the task easier. Dust your ceiling fans and other hard-to-reach objects with a long stick like a painting roller. Wrap some dryer sheets around the edge and tie it with a rubber band. The sheet will pick up dust from the fixtures. If the roller is not long enough, you can attach an extension handle so you can reach all the way up. 8. Replacing bagless vacuum cleaner filters can be expensive, but you can make them as good as new with a simple cleaning hack. It's important to clean the filters every once in a while and not just empty the dust canister. Don't tap it into the trash because it will produce dust clouds that can be harmful. Take your vacuum out and clean the filter with a shop vacuum. Be careful not to damage the special coating of some pleated filters and make sure you gently run the vacuum nozzle. 9. If you have kids in the house, it is very likely that they have played with permanent markers and left drawings on your walls or cabinet doors. 
You can simply remove them by using vegetable oil, which you might already have in your pantry. Apply a dip of vegetable oil on a clean cloth or rag and wipe out surfaces with the permanent marker drawings. Wipe it dry with another clean cloth. You can also use this technique to remove markings on your skin. 10. Shoes can leave scuff marks on tile or floor areas. Scuffs can also be caused by moving furniture around. If you have scuff marks on your vinyl floor, to remove them, you can use a clean and dry tennis ball to scrape it off. Lightly rub the ball on the scuff marks to erase them. 11. It's easy to panic when someone spills a lot of water on your floor, and not all mops can easily absorb water. To remove the liquid up quickly, the best tip is to use a DIY squeegee. To make your own, get a piece of foam pipe insulation and slip it into the edge of a garden rake. Or you can use any similar item that can function as a mop with the foam. Push the water out with your DIY squeegee to a drain or out through your door. 12. Chandeliers can be difficult to clean because they're normally hard to reach and can become messy. To avoid it spreading all the dust, spread a plastic tarp on your floor to catch any dust that drops. Turn off the chandelier lights and spray a cleaning solution until the liquid builds up and running down. It's easier to use this technique than wiping the entire area. After the dirty liquid drips off, rinse it off by spraying more liquid. Leave the remaining liquid evaporate and dry out. 13. Disposers can get stinky over time if they have accumulated rotten food. Freshen them up by using citrus peels and ice cubes. Run some water in the sink and drop in an orange or lemon peel. Turn the disposer on and let it run for about 5 seconds. The acid from the citrus peel will soften the waste that is built up inside the disposer and deodorize any smelly bacteria. Leave it for 15 minutes for the acid to take full effects. Run the water again and turn on the disposer. This time, drop a few ice cubes into it. Turn the water on until the sink is half full, then flush it all out. 14. Create a baking soda mixture and leave it overnight on dirty surfaces of the oven. Fill up a spray bottle with a tablespoon of water and vinegar. Spray the solution over the dirty surfaces and saturate them fully with the liquid. There will be a chemical reaction between the solution and the paste. You will see bubbles forming. Spray more solution on heavily stained areas and let the liquid soak for 15 minutes. 15. If you need to clean up broken glass, it can be difficult to find and pick up all the pieces. So the best solution is to use a flashlight to make sure you gather up all the pieces. Turn off all overhead lights and use a flashlight to scan the floor for shards. Keep the flashlight on a low angle to make sure the shards glisten in the dark. Even the little pieces of glass will stand out. Then safely pick them up. 16. It's always good to have a box of unscented baby wipes around to make cleaning easier. When you do your next gluing project, clean up glue beads from cracks and corners with the wipes instead of using wet rags. This will prevent the tiring process of scraping off the glue that's hardened on surfaces. 17. If there are gaps in your countertop, they can be easily filled with crumbs and other food items. Fill the gaps on countertops with a nearly invisible plastic tubing. You will find this material in almost all home centers. Choose the appropriate width you need to cover the gaps. 18. Vinyl floors can accumulate stains and marks over time. However, these marks will not come off with simple mopping and regular cleaning solutions. Using isopropyl alcohol will help soften the marks, which is available in most drugstores as it is a mild solvent. It can clean up heel marks and will also work well on other stains. Wipe the stains with a cloth dampened with alcohol. If the stains still don't come off, you can try using lighter fluid and mineral spirits. But please, be careful when handling these substances as they are flammable. 19. Dirty fingernails can be hard to clean, especially if they've been soiled when gardening. Get a piece of dry bar soap and scratch it on the surface of your fingernails. The soap will rub against the fingernails and push out the dirt. Dissolve the scraped soap in your nails by washing it off with water. 20. Even if you buy the appropriate garbage bag size for your trash bin, it's not uncommon for the bag can often slip down, which makes it difficult to keep in place. You can create a DIY garbage bag holder to prevent this from happening. 
Cut the middle of the garbage bin lid using a knife and remove the outer rim. Place the garbage bag as you would inside the bin and push the cut rim over it to hold it in place. This will keep the garbage bag from slipping down. 21. Store odor killers do not always smell pleasant. They often have an unnatural scent that for some people can be nauseating. You can create your own deodorizer by using activated charcoal. It is a great absorbent and is better than baking soda when dealing with a wide range of particles. Break the charcoal up into small pieces and put them inside freshener bags. Then place them in the corners of your furniture. 22. This technique works well on old plastic laminate countertops which are difficult to remove stains. To prevent the surface from accumulating more stains, make sure to wipe them off immediately. Apply a protective coating to make it more stain resistant. You can use any countertop polish as a coating. This will also restore the shine on the surface if the countertop is already dull. Spray the polish over the surface and wipe it off with a clean cloth or rag. Repeat this process every few weeks to make the countertop stain-proof. 23. You can use the dust collection part of your shop vacuum to pick up volumes of mop water. To do this, simply load it with preferably warm, soapy water. When you're done mopping, just pull out your DIY mop bucket by rolling it to the sink or the bathroom. Drain the dirty water out to empty the bucket. Dry it up for vacuum use again. 24. If your sink is slow to drain, you may have a clog. Before you call the plumber or replace any parts in your sink, try this proven mixture first. Pour a cup of vinegar down the drain of your sink, then sprinkle the baking soda into the drain. As soon as you sprinkled the baking soda, plug the stopper into the drain. There will be a fizzing sound. Keep it plugged until the sound stops. After doing this, do not use the sink for 30 minutes. Afterward, flush it with hot water. 25. Carpet cleaning solutions can be expensive and you never really know which ones will work. Some may also contain harmful chemicals. When dealing with a dirty carpet, this DIY carpet cleaner may be a more effective solution. All you need is a cup of warm water, a cup of rubbing alcohol, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and Lysol concentrate. Fill your carpet cleaner's water reservoir with the warm water halfway through the container. Add the alcohol and Lysol concentrate to mix with the water. Fill the rest of the space with the vinegar. This is an effective cleaning solution that can handle most stains and odors on your carpet. 26. Your hairbrushes and combs may already be seething with germs and dust, so you need to give them a deep clean to remove hair, dead skin, and other buildup. Loosen any buildup by soaking a comb or brush in a container with warm, sudsy water. You can use dish detergent or other soaps that you prefer. Rinse them off and air dry them before putting them back inside the drawer. And that's all for now. For more cleaning hacks and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.